First of all, weight loss does not mean you're improving yourself. I know a lot of skinny people who are really terrible. I'm not saying she didn't work hard, but maybe her international fame, access to personal chefs and trainers, and $22 million help? Hey, what's going on, guys? So, I've never heard anything more pathetic than what we're about to watch now. So, bad acceptance activists are mad at a certain celebrity for losing weight. And I mean, it's it's honestly kind of funny because this girl was this girl was practically blowing steam out of her ears because somebody said on the internet that they feel better by losing weight. And then they go on to ramble about how how the only reason they actually lost weight is because of their money, their net worth, or how they got used. But before we get to that, here's a few comments from the last video that put a smile on my face. Wilson poses in red swimsuit reminds people it's never too late to improve yourself. First of all, weight loss does not mean you're improving yourself. I know a lot of skinny people who are really terrible. And now I can add Rebel Wilson to that list. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of pauses, obviously. Now, I have watched this video about six to seven times, and each time I've had an aneurysm. I wanted to rub bleach in my eyes after the third time, but I've pulled through, I became strong, and I finished this video. Now, for a little context, here's the before and after of this actress that, that these people are upset about. Quite honestly, I don't know what's worse. Uh, this girl is getting triggered over an article on the internet, or the girl right next to her that stitched the video that keeps doing this shit thinking she's actually doing something. I mean, that finger roll right there is the most exercise she's had in over three years, so hats off to you, you're doing great. And then let's actually get to the juice of things. She says weight loss is not improving yourself, and she knows a lot of skinny people that are terrible. I don't know if I have to give this girl a dictionary, send me your address and I will hook you up, but last time I checked, an improvement, a self-improvement, it differs from person to person. The improvements I can make in my life that can help me in life are different from the next person are different from you are different from my dog i mean you don't get to tell people what improvements are you don't live in their shoes you don't live their lives and then she follows that up with i know a lot of skinny people that are terrible why are we talking about each other like we're aliens i mean we're all humans at the end of the day let's stop dividing us into skinny people and fat people um I know a lot of fat people that are terrible. I know a lot of skinny people that are terrible. It doesn't matter. Your weight doesn't determine what kind of person you are. Unlike these activists, my brain cells are not in the single digits. About 80% of you aren't subscribed. Man, subscribe, help me get to 4,000. Um, and the like button's there. You already know the drill. It, it, the like button's like two inches away. You might as well hit it. I mean, you got nothing to lose. And if you want to talk to me, go follow me on Instagram and shoot me a DM. I'll respond to every message on there. And let's get right back into the video. Skinny people who are really terrible. And now I can add Rebel Wilson to that list. To be clear, I do not care that she lost weight. I care that she is talking about it in this way and the implications of the language she's using. And then she says she can add Rebel to the list of skinny people that are terrible. Could you imagine calling somebody terrible because they decided to lose some weight and put an article out about it? I mean, if that's all it takes to be a terrible person, then I guess the entire world is a terrible person. Because if you do something that's self-improvement that's actually hard to achieve, you better believe people are going to brag about it. They have the right to brag about it. So she says she doesn't care that she lost weight. She's just offended by the language she's using. I mean, look at her, she is red hot. hot. There's the smoke coming out of her ears over a little tiny comment about somebody's weight loss journey. Do you realize how stupid you look? I mean, I don't know how people find the time of the day to find these articles, to read them, and actually get triggered by them, and then go on to TikTok and record and tell people about their opinions. Normal people don't have that time of the day, and if you just take all the time you spend being the victim, and you actually make some self-improvements, uh, your quality of life will be 10 times better. Rebel Wilson built her career off of the stereotypes people hold about those in bigger bodies and always was getting in front of the fat joke and making sure people were laughing with her instead of at her at the expense of all other fat people. All representation is not good representation and I didn't like this when she was fat. But it is truly appalling for her to imply anyone could have the same results as her if they were to just go for it. On another photo, she said, I feel like turning 40, I've weathered a lot of storms, but somehow I've managed to thrive. And I'm not saying she didn't work hard, but maybe her international fame, access to personal chefs and trainers, and $22 million help? Alright, so the thousand pound sisters over there are claiming that it's the money. That's the reason she was able to lose weight. And if she actually made a valid point, like a surgery, 
you know, I would have given them the benefit of the doubt. The Thousand Pound Sisters would have been right on that, but they didn't. Instead, they're using uh, excuses like personal trainers and chefs. I hate to break it to you, but you don't need personal trainers or chefs to lose weight. And money has nothing to do with it. You are in fact saving money, not eating as much. For people that claim they're really smart and they're intellectual, they know what's going on with the world, you guys are pretty fucking stupid. I mean, let's do some common math here. More food equals more money. Less food equals less money. It's as simple as that. I mean, we're really out here pretending like we need money to lose weight. You know how much money I have saved since my weight loss journey? This is that prime example of being the victim. I couldn't imagine living a life like that where no matter what you do in life, you're always the victim. Could you imagine being in their shoes? I was raised better than that and I'm pretty sure so were you. A little life lesson. In the 21 years of my existence, uh, being the victim has never helped. It does nothing for you. It makes you a worse human being. You get lazy. You start making excuses that you should not be making. I mean, we're treating being fat like some kind of disability or illness. It's not. It is your choice. You have every right to lose that weight. You have the tools. The world is there for you. I mean, the world is at your expense. You choose not to do it. And then and then when you face discrimination, quote unquote, um, you start to get offended. You get triggered over little videos on the internet, which is just sad and pathetic. Anyways, that's going to be it for today. If you want to watch a fat activist telling people uh, that it's her genetics fault, that she's fat, it's not that she eats a lot of food or, or she's training for a food eating contest every single day of the week. It's the fact that her genetics make her fat. I'll put the video up right here.